Michelle Stevens' accomplishments at Richland Community College have been noted for her proactive engagement of the entire campus to revitalize the speech and theater curricula. Her work is holistic in scale, creative, progressive, and innovative in concept, and foundational to enhance academic integrity in its various respects, from instruction, whether in traditional or online learning, to assessments and evaluations. Her eagerness towards the improvement of teaching and learning prompts her positive approach towards new strategies. In the classroom, Michelle sets a no-nonsense task-oriented agenda. She is student-friendly, and students take her advice because they know that she has their best interest in mind. She's empathetic and generous with her time and energy. At the same time, she carries out the Richland core value of accountability when needed. Michelle's teaching demonstrates an astute balance that instinctively good teachers have. Please welcome Michelle Stevens, Assistant Professor of Drama and Speech, to the podium as Richland Community College's faculty speaker. Welcome graduates, family and friends, and colleagues. Graduation is one of those unique events in a person's life where people are inspired to take a moment and reflect on the events that have, le have led them to where they are now and what might be waiting for them in the months and years ahead. You have all come from different backgrounds and experiences. Some of you find yourselves right on track, moving toward a larger goal. Some of you find yourselves at a crossroads with many choices ahead. All of us have shared this time together, and we are proud to see so many of you reaching your goals, working hard, and ready to move on to the next part of your lives. In 2007, I sat in my first graduation here as a faculty member, and one of the speakers that day got up and said, Richland Community College is a part of your journey. It is not a destination. An important thing to remember, as you look toward the future, a sad thing for us here who have gotten to know you and will miss you when the fall semester rolls around again. I thought then of what I might say to my own students as they graduated and what I would have said to myself as I sat where you are today at the end of one journey and at the beginning of another. Little did I know that that day was just around the corner. Graduates, what I would like to share with you today is this. There is nothing that you cannot do. We have grown up together as spectators, watching people be successful, change the world, and make a difference. I am here today to tell you that you are those people. Do not be persuaded into thinking that success and happiness is something that happens to people. It is something that you make happen. A mentor of mine once said to me, Michelle, it is not the brilliant people who make a difference and are successful. It is the people who are most doggedly determined. I have had the pleasure of having so many of you in my classes, and I can safely say that determination is not something that any of you lack. Many of you harbor dreams that seem so big and fantastic that they seem outside the realm of possibility. They are not. Many of you are right now reaping the rewards of taking steps toward making that dream a reality for yourself, and I cannot congratulate you enough. Some of you may be unsure of what your next steps are. If you are unsure, step forward with gusto. Dream big. Don't sell yourself short. This is your life, and you are the one that will live it. Steve Jobs, one of the most innovative businessmen of our century, insists that the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who will. It is easy enough to sit back and say to yourself, people like me aren't poets, aren't inventors, aren't CEOs, aren't famous, uh, aren't the type of people who change things, create things, improve things. I am here to tell you today but that is exactly who you are. Today is a day of celebration. But as you move into tomorrow and into the months ahead, don't let this feeling fade. Keep it. Nurture it. Pass it on to the people in your life. 
Dreams are one of our greatest natural resources. William Butler Yeats said, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. It is now your job to move out into the world and share what you have learned and what you will learn with the people you meet. And don't forget to come back here and share it with us as well. Don't let your education or your dreams end here. Your parents are watching. Your brothers and sisters are watching. Your children are watching. Now is your time to show them the rewards of following your dreams, that hard work is a gift that you give yourself, that you can achieve the things that you once thought were impossible. I would like to leave you today with a quote, and it's one of my favorites. It's one I return to often when I get discouraged on my own path towards making my own dreams a reality. You are in the midst of a war, a battle between the limits of a crowd seeking the surrender of your dreams and the, power, and the power of your true vision to create and contribute. It is a fight between those who will tell you what you cannot do and that part of you that knows and has always known that we are more than our environment and that a dream backed by an unrelenting will to attain it is truly a reality with an imminent arrival. Congratulations, graduates. We are very proud of you.